everybody. Welcome back to D Diets. It is one month, one month, one month. I cannot believe a month went by so quickly, and it did. And I am feeling fantastic. And of course, we're going to have a weigh-in. I'm going to tell you what the scale said, but I'm going to show you what I'm having for breakfast today. I'm having some rice, blueberries, and a banana. Doesn't this look delicious? Look at the portion. I just want you to see the portion size. This ain't no little bowl. This is a nice big bowl. Hello. Anyway, I wanted to go over it with you because it is plant-based. And let's talk about the first week so you know how I felt on the first week. Cravings galore! I was having so many cravings. Of course, for all the stuff that I'm not supposed to have to begin with, but I was having cravings for them. So how did I get over the craving part of it? Well, I asked myself this. Is it a craving, Denise? Or are you hungry? Are you starving? Are you craving? And all the time, the answer was you're craving. So, and I said it out loud, just so that you know, I said it out loud and I said it out loud a lot during the daytime. I'm real, I'm honest. The first week was hard. It was not easy. It was an adjustment to say, oh my God, no more processed food, no more oil, no more meat, no more dairy, you know, no more of it. And I decided to make this decision, okay? So I was like, okay, I got through it. Second week, second week. The craving started to disappear, so that was a good thing. And I was eating till I was full, which is always a good thing. I can't even begin to tell you if you've ever tried to lose weight on tiny portions, how you're starving all day long. I'm not starving. Let me take a bite of my stuff. Take a bite. Mmm, mmm, so good. I got a haircut. Um. Oh, that's ever so good. It's cold rice, by the way, Jasmine. So the second week, the cravings weren't so bad. Remember, I told you I was a Tylenol PM girl. Oh yeah. By the end of the second week, I no longer take a Tylenol PM to go to sleep. At ten o'clock. I was actually tired and I went to bed and I slept from like 10 o'clock till five o'clock in the morning. I have never done that, never done that. My lifestyle didn't change. The only thing that changed was what I was eating, which is like a miracle, a miracle. Not that I have to take the Tylenol PM anymore. So that's a good thing. Take another bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's so good. Um, third week, food started tasting better. I could taste the natural sweetness in the fruit because again, sugar, you're not eating sugar. And let's be real, I was eating processed sugar. You know, cookies, cakes, pies, anything that had sugar and glucose and all these other shrutros and all that stuff. You know, I gave up the crystal light which I don't even miss. I gave it up for water or lemon water. That's what I drink or my um, herbal teas. Did not at that point into the third week, did not miss butter for my potatoes. Didn't miss butter for my rice. Didn't miss fried food. Didn't miss meat. Didn't miss dairy anymore. It was like gone. Didn't miss it anymore. So that's a good thing. Now, someone had said to me, and quite a few people have said this to me already, uh, privately in Facebook Messenger or privately on my IG page, which is D Diets, um, how are you getting your protein? So I said, well, I'm going to give you an analogy of how I'm getting my protein. You know, what do, what do cows eat? Cows eat alfalfa, they eat grass, they eat hay, they eat things from the earth, Okay. They're not born with protein, they're eating it from the earth. That's how they make their protein. So if I'm eating things from the earth, I'm getting my protein. The only difference is I'm not getting all that saturated fat that comes along with that protein. Uh, milk, same thing. You know, people go, how are you getting your calcium? Think about it again. Where are those animals getting their calcium from? My goodness, they're getting it from the earth in the greens that they're eating. I'm eating those same greens. 
I'm getting that same calcium. So it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? And when a baby calf is born, his mother, the mother cow, produced milk. Well, the baby cow, that milk is for the baby. It's not meant for us. Just like when we're pregnant and we produce breast milk, that breast milk is good for our children. So if that's the only kind of analogy I can make of all of it, that's the only thing I can say. As far as salt is concerned, you can sprinkle on top of your food just a little bit, but even those days are over with. Uh, <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, I guess we should go, well, I don't even know. Oh, we're in this video already five minutes. So fourth week, fourth week. Couldn't wait to get on the scale. I'll be honest with you. Could not wait to get on the scale just to see what the scale said. And I was a little apprehensive because remember, when I first started, I was 226 pounds. I know, I know. Beat me over the shoe with it. Beat my head over because I was foolish, ridiculous. And yet I was listening to some of my friends on YouTube and I thought to myself, everybody's trying to do something. They're making healthy dishes. They're making healthy meals. Not that I cooked unhealthy, but I noticed that I was putting a lot of oil in my food and it was a lot of, you know, meats and proteins that were filled with saturated fat that I knew could block my carotid arteries, block my arteries in my heart. And when you get to an age of 61, yeah, you know, you don't want to do that to yourself because you know it's just a matter of time before it catches up. So I weighed myself. What did it say? Let me take another bite. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what it's like to take little tiny bites. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. Loving it. The scale read mm -mm. 214, 200, no, excuse me. I'm thinking of 14 pounds. I lost 14 pounds. The scale read 212. So in one month's time, I lost 14 pounds eating starch, eating fruit, eating vegetables, eating bread, eating pasta, eating potatoes, 14 pounds in 30 days. So this was an experiment. And guess what? I'm going to keep doing the experiment. I'm going to go for another 30 days. And we're going to see after another 30 days what happens eating plant-based. Never feel healthier. Feel energized. Feel like I can, can run a marathon. Don't get any ideas. I'm not going to be running any time marathon anytime soon. But if you're looking for something that is totally different and this was different to me because all I knew with every doctor you know that always said lay off the carbs lay off the carbs don't have the carbs don't have the carbs maybe they should have said don't have the carbs with butter don't have the carbs with sour cream or bacon or cheese um, maybe that's what they should have said because the potato is not bad for us rice is not bad for us Whole wheat pasta is not bad for us. And even whole grain bread is not bad for us. So maybe that's what they should have said. Because if I knew about this, oh my God, if I knew this 10 years ago, I would have, I would have been doing this and I would have been probably a thin little twig. Because I'm eating really good. I'm eating really healthy. You see the size portions. It's no joke. These are big portions. And yet when I walk away, I'm full. I'm satisfied until my next meal and usually that is hours and hours and hours from now. So, my friends, let's do another month. Shall we do another month together? Absolutely, let's do another month and let's see what happens. Be kind to one another, the heart, that's truly all that matters. Oh, I hope you give this a try. I hope you just do your own little experiment and see for yourself how it works because it's working. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.